Hello everybody, here's Martin, your personal water sommelier. I saw many of these chlorine test videos recently and a lot of people are asking, Martin, can you please stream in what's going on there? This is chlorine and you are consuming it. We're gonna just use chlorine drops. So in all the tests, they're using these here. These are chlorine tests and you're putting these drops a little bit into your water and then you can see how much chlorine or actually is chlorine in the water. And here you see how much chlorine is inside your tap water. But pretty much with every home test, this is kind of like an idea. It's not really accurate because therefore you need to go to a lab to really see what's in your water. So this is more like an idea that you know if there's chlorine or if there's no chlorine. By this being said, obviously this is a home kit. That means it opens up for a lot of failures as well. Is he putting really his oily finger into the water and then still thinks the test will work? We're going to see how fast my hand absorbed the chlorine. What happens when we clean them with tap water? Really? Broccoli? Broccoli? Here you see that the broccoli absorb the chlorine. So there's so many reasons why they can fail. And one of the reasons, for example, is when you're adding another oil or other solids into the water and then this test will fail. But hey, they want that the test is failing because they want to tell you that your skin absorbed now all the chlorine and that the fruit or vegetables and now absorb the chlorine. And that is actually not true at all. It's just a great example that the test failed. That's all what it is, guys. And again, another reason why you should not believe everything what you see on social media. Cheers, my friends, and remember, water is not just water.